Okay, this is the probability questions and actually I remember I record this question uh, in one of the probability videos but then when the student asked me in Facebook actually I can't find it so I just record one more time for this question because I think this is a quite famous question. Okay, for MX student, for SBN MX student when they see probability question, actually somehow they are quite confused. They are not sure whether this question is is for the probability chapter or is for the probability distribution chapter or this one is for permutation or combination chapter. Sometimes the student will feel confused. So, okay. So, what I'm trying to say is, is okay. Most of the most of the questions for probability chapter and probability distribution chapter. You can use the same methods like tree diagram to solve it or you use the formula to solve it. Most of the questions okay, actually you can use both. But then tree diagram, if you use the tree diagram in probability distribution chapter, you, you will find actually you will use uh, more time to solve the simple questions. So okay, so let's see what kind of uh, question is this. Alright. Okay, I take this one from the SAS buddy. Uh, past year question. I think it's the 2007 paper one. Okay, for MX. All right. So in this question, they say the probability that each shot fired by Ramli hits a target is one over three. Okay. Now, if Ramli fired ten shots, find the probability that exactly two shots hit the target. All right. This one, you know, actually. Ramli can hit the target is 1 over 3. So obviously, Ramli cannot hit the target will be 2 over 3. Just use 1 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3. Now the problem is, if the Ramli fire 10 shots, if you draw the 3 diagram, you're going to draw 10 times. First time for the first shot, and then second time for the second shot, and then third time for the third shot. Impossible, you're going to draw 10 times. Okay, however, if you understand probably good enough, actually you know you can straight away multiple, no need to draw all the two diagrams. But what I'm trying to say is, okay, if you see the question something like this, so first, I know actually this one is P. Because P is the probability actually he can hit the target is 1 over 3. So Q is the probability he can't hit the target is 2 over 3. And then he give us that if Ramli fire ten shot, mean he, uh, means the end mean the total number for Ramli fire is ten. Yes, we know this one actually we have to use this formula, P X equals to R, and then you will see something like N C R, and then P R, Q N minus R. Okay, this formula actually is given. Uh, it is given when you having your exam. Yeah, it's given in front of your exam paper. It's nothing special. Alright. So P is very easy. P is just the probability will success. Mean the probability that one. Okay, means in these cases the P is the probability that he can hit the target. Okay. Sometimes P can be the probability that that day will be raining, or sometimes the P can be probability that the student will be late for school. Depend on the question. So P normally is the event actually the question one. So Q is just very simple. If you know what is P, you just use one minus P. You can get Q. This is something very important. One minus P actually you will get Q. Okay, and then N is the total number of try. Okay, is if the total number of try means something like sample space, and then the important part is you have to find out R. R means actually he want to find out how many times if he if he try ten times, how many times he actually can hit the target, which is R. So in these cases, he say exactly two shots hit the target. So I know in these cases R will be two. Okay, because sometimes in this chapter actually okay this is the question in the probability distribution chapter most of the time the question won't be so simple he will say something like this uh, find the probability that Ramli will shoot the target at least two so at least two you know r actually is bigger or equals to two then you have to plus all the probability r equal to two three four five until ten okay but this one he said exactly two so it will be very easy 
So if you got all this information, what you need to do is you just substitute into this formula. So you will see how actually it works. So I want to find the probability. Actually, Ramni can shoot exactly two. So exactly two. So total try n over here is he tried ten shot. He can only shot two. So R is two. You see all the R I will become two and two. All the N I will become ten ten. So P is the probability actually he can shot uh, he can hit the target. So it's one over three. Power of R. What is R? R is two. And then Q is what is Q? Is two over three. And then power of N minus R. N over here is he try ten times minus two. He only can hit the target is two. Okay, if you understand everything over here, what you need to do is you just press the calculator. Yeah, it's very simple. But then, of course, you must know how to press the calculator for this one. Okay, nothing very special. Okay, so let me take my calculator. Okay, I think this question is quite simple. So you just press ten C two multiple with bracket okay uh, and 1 over 3 okay my calculator is a little bit different with yours lah, but it's the same same logics so put the bracket will be better and then power of 2 and then multiple another bracket and then this is 2 over 3 close bracket and then power of 8 Okay, you just make sure you actually you press all the multiple on the meter and then whenever you put the power one, I would suggest when you press the calculator, you, you, you put a bracket for it. Okay, it will be more secure for your answer. Okay, so you've got something like this. So, of, of, of course, change to this number. So, the answer actually, live in the four decimal place will be better. It will be 1951. This is a probability, actually he will hit the target. Mean actually if you change this one to percentage, multiple 100% means he will hit the targets, the percentage is 19.51%. Means almost 20%. Uh, mean actually if he hit uh, if he trying to like shoot 10 times, maybe he can hit the target is two times. Something like that. Alright? So for B, B actually is is easy, but then if you can't understand the question, you will find very hard. He said, if Ramli fire N shot, so now he fire N shot. Okay, so R now will equal to N. This is the key point for B because he said Ramli fire N shot because now, okay, the total will be N. Okay, and then the probability, uh, and then N will be N also uh, because he fire N shot. Right? Like this one, he said fire 10 shot. So it'll be easy, n equals to 10. But then in these cases, he said fire n shot. So n will equal to n. Okay. This is the first sentence. The probability that all the n shot hit the target. So this one, all the n shot hit the target. All the n shot hit the target mean r will equal to n. This one is the third sentence. So you must understand all the n shot will hit the target means r now equals to n. Because just now, he, he said only two shots will hit the target, right? so R equals to two. But in this one, he said all the N shots will hit the target, so R will equal to N. And then he said the probability he give is one over two, four, three. So what I know in these cases is the probability that, okay, he will shoot N shot and then all the N shot will hit the target will be one over two, four, three. Okay. So yeah, this is this is something like this. You see, if I write x equals to two, mean actually if he try ten, uh, mean he will, he can hit the target is two time. But this one is he hit the target is n time. So you're going to write something like this, and then what you need to do is you have to solve this equation. Okay, how we're going to solve this equation actually is quite simple. You just put everything. You know this formula, right? So now n is equal to n nothing special but then r is equal to n okay because of this r is actually equals to n and then multiple with p p we know is 1 over 3 and then r is equals to n and then q is 2 over 3 okay n minus r is equal to n equals to 1 over 2 4 3 yes 
This is the thing. Okay, because a lot of students will feel very confused. Why? What is n c n? And then why here n minus n? What is this meaning? So first thing, if you know about uh, c term over here, mean actually this you will see in combination. Any number c with the same number, you have got one. If you not believe, you can just try to pass something like c seven c uh seven c seven or or ninety nine c ninety nine. As long as these two number is the same, you have got one. Because of what? Because of their formula. Because what is NCL formula? It's something like n minus or uh, okay, you just refer back to the form formula list. I I think the formula for NCR is n factorial over n minus r factorial over r factorial. So if you got NCN, you will got something like this n factorial over n minus n factorial and then you have got n factorial yeah so if you solve this one yeah n minus n yeah n minus n i think you will got you got zero isn't it or uh huh okay n minus n n factorial over n minus n factorial it's not mistaken the formula is like this so n minus n okay this one called zero factorial so this n factorial n factorial i can simplify i left one so one over zero factorial so if you press calculator zero factorial actually will give you one so this one is one so n c n will equal to one so from here i know this one equals to one so i will write one and then this is one over three power of n and then this one two over three n minus n is 0 power of 0 equals to 1 over 2 4 3 so any number power of 0 equals to 1 so this is 1 this is 1 so i know 1 over 3 power of n equals to okay 2 4 3 is actually i think is 2 3 power 5 so i can change this one to something like this equals to 1 over 3 power of 5 because it's the same word 1 i can add the power of 5 of 8 so both also have power of 5 actually i can factorize out the power of 5 here so from the comparison i can easily know that n equals to 5. yes so this is the difficult part because what is the meaning when r equals to n and n equals to n how are you going to solve it because a lot of students they might be able to write out this equation but then they do not know what how to solve n c n so whenever you see n and n this one will equals to 1 and then whenever you see n minus n you got power 0 any number power of 0 you have got 1 so you just solve this equation you can easily get n equals to 5. i hope my video can help you understand about this question it's not really hard but then yeah you need to understand about this question or oh, obviously for second part you can't use the tree diagram or anything to solve you have to use this formula and this formula actually is not very hard to understand so n is just how many times he try to shot r is how many times actually he can hit the target P is the probability he will hit the target and Q is the probability he will miss. Okay, so if you roughly understand this one, you just make sure you put the N and R correctly. I think you can easily get full mark for this question. Alright, I hope this video actually helped you. Anyways, thanks for watching.